All right, so we're going to talk about understanding legal land descriptions. And this is important when you go to read things like plat books, um, when you're trying to describe where something is uh, in a technical format, especially as it relates to um, surveying and that kind of stuff. So this does get a little tricky, but uh, feel free to replay this video if you need to re-understand some of the components. Um, other than that, we will go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to know is, is we're basing all of this legal land description off of a section. We measure everything in sections, and a section of land is 640 acres. Okay, So we're starting with a little bit of numbers, and this does include uh, both being able to write it and being able to calculate how many acres it is. Um, but an entire section is 640 acres, and we'll, we'll look at what a section is going to look like on our paper. Um, from that number, you can then start dividing down until you have reached your determined area. And this will make more sense as we go through this, but knowing from the beginning that 640 acres is a section is a really good starting point. So as I mentioned earlier, what does a section look like? Well, a section is always going to be represented by a square in this perspective. And sometimes it's, it, it's not necessarily a square on paper, um, but a section is square uh, when it comes down to it. So anytime you see the large square, no lines on the inside or anything like that, that is a whole section. So this box would then represent 600 in 40 acres, okay? From this point, we can start breaking it down um, into different sections. So sections within the sections, right? So we took this outer box, the big box, we broke it down into four. We can break it down into smaller and smaller pieces because not everyone owns 640 acres. In fact, very few people actually own a whole section of land. And so, you know, a lot of times it's 20 acres or 40 acres or something like that. So they own a part or a piece within a section. Okay. So we can break these things down. You could even break this down further. Okay. And we'll get into kind of what that looks like a little bit further. But this is how you would break down a section. And it can be broken down into four equal parts. It can be broken in half. It can be broken uh, in all kinds of things. Okay. So let's practice. What do we know? Well, we know that, that a section is 640 acres, right? We just went over that. So this whole outside box here is 640 acres. And in this example specifically, we've broken that big square, that 640 acres down into four equal quadrants, okay? So I'm asking you to find in this example where the X or how many acres is the X worth. So if we take 640 acres, right, we know that this X is occupying one fourth, right, four boxes. The X is one fourth of the whole thing. And so therefore we can take 640 acres divided by four equal parts and we get 160 acres. So this X, would represent 160 acres, okay? Now, here comes a little bit of the tricky part. How do we write this, or how would we determine where this X is? We now know it's 160 acres, and we did that via some simple math. But now we need to determine where it is within that section. Where do I know? Because technically, this is 160 acres, this is 160 acres, if I'm looking to buy a piece of property within that section, I need to know where to look, okay? So all legal land description are, are written in terms of their cardinal directions. And cardinal directions would be your north, south, east, west, all that kind of stuff. Northeast, north, west, southeast, southwest, right? Um, would also be included in that cardinal direction. But it's north, south, east, and west. It, you're determining... Within that section, I'm on the north side, or I'm on the northwest corner, or I'm on the south half of that section. We also need to include whether it's a half or a quarter, how much that is occupying, which we just talked about in the last example. 
And then we also need to know that north is always going to be pointing up towards the top of the paper. So north will always be in this direction. So in other words, this title would be north of the rest of the words here. Okay, so north is always towards the top of the paper. So back to our example from earlier, we determined that this X occupies 160 acres, right? Because it's exactly one quarter of 640. But how do we write that? How do I know this 160 acres is what I'm looking at or going to buy? That's how we start writing it. So we look at the fact that we know that north is always up, right? North is always pointing up on the paper. And so therefore, we now just need to determine how much of the whole square the X is occupying in terms of cardinal directions, that north, south, east, and west. So since the box is divided into four equal parts, the X is now occupying one-fourth of the whole square. Since north is always up, we know that the that to the left of this center line, right? So if this is north up here, we divide that in half. We know that everything to the left over here towards the words would then be to the west, right? Never eat soggy waffles, right? North, northeast, southwest would be how we read uh, a compass. And so therefore, we now know that we now occupy the north west corner of this section, right? This would be the north half. These two boxes would be the north half. These two boxes would be the south half. These two boxes are the west half. And these two boxes here are the east half. So we go up to the top corner, north west quarter, right? One fourth of the entire square is what we are occupying. So Let's try another. This time we're going to add an acreage and description together. So again, our X has moved. So we know this whole outside box here is 640 acres. We know that north is always pointing up. And so we find that the legal land description, right? We're again, dividing it into quarters. North is up, okay? So this would be the north half, and we start from the inside, from the smallest number, from the smallest size out to the largest, okay? So this, I've got to figure out what this box right here where the X is, is of this whole box, right? So now we know that since this line divides this thing in half, okay, we're looking at half, but is this of this box here, this occupies the north half, okay? But now we also have to add one more because it's not just the north half. The north half would be all of this here. This is just the north half of the northeast quarter, okay? And adding in our acreage now, we also know that since a quarter of this whole section is 160, half of 160 is 80. So this X would occupy 80 acres, and it is the northwest of the northeast quarter, north half of the northeast quarter, excuse me. So now I want you to try this on your own. Go on to Canvas, find the assignment, and then go from there. If you have any questions, please ask.